Hello everybody, I'm Rockman, and welcome back to Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, where we're in the final part of the Sonic playthrough. As I said, I'm going to be doing Knuckles playthrough after I'm done this, because it is technically a different story. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Right now, we're at the Death Egg. We're actually inside it this time, which is pretty cool. As you can see, this place is absolutely massive if you're going by scale, because the background isn't moving unlike most stages, so that just shows how big this place is. Now as for the zone itself, there's a lot of traps, there's electric floors, if you have the electric shield like I do here, they won't hurt you, but I think I'm going to lose it right here. Do I? No? Okay. There's those elevators that take you upwards. Yeah, we, there we go. I knew it lost at some point. There's those elevators that'll take you upwards whenever you jump on them. The, uh, whatever you call it, the treadmill will go in a different direction because it has a treadmill apparently on it, because that's how Eggman gets around. So you want to watch out for that. It's very annoying when Tails is playing with you because you'll just change the direction whenever he lands on it as well, so watch out for that. There's invisible platforms that'll appear randomly. Well, they're not really invisible, but they're like laser platforms. Might as well be invisible. And just a bunch of platforms that take you around in places, so that's mo just of it, this zone. Oh, uh, you have these tubes here. They're just tubes. We've seen them many times before, so... They'll always take you in a set direction, so, yeah. Nothing too interesting going on there. Yeah, the Death Egg has some pretty nice music. There's a lot of gravity things going on here. Uh, this is just a taste of what'll be coming in this zone. Act 2 will have a ton of gravity puzzles, so... Watch out for those. Also watch out for those missiles. Shouldn't really need to be said, but... They're there, so watch out for them. Right here, normally you need to ride that elevator downwards, but because I got that invincibility, I can just run on these electric platforms and not get hurt, so that's nice. Here, it's... I'm not sure if you'd call this a mini-boss or what, but basically it's a robot, so I'm gonna call it a mini-boss, I'm not sure if it has an actual name. Uh, pretty much you want to turn all those yellow lights red, so just going to be bouncing around, up and all, down and all around. It can be quite annoying trying to guess where you're trying to aim at, so just have patience, I guess. But eventually, we'll be able to hit it. And I just got a 1-up, nice. Not that I'll need it. I think I just saw one of the lights turn yellow. I don't think they turned back, but maybe I was wrong. Okay. You learn some things when rewatching footage. There we go. Once all the lights are down, the door will open. And you can progress. And we have more tubes. Yeah, auto scroller places. Okay. That's not really not bleh, that's not really an auto scroller, but Automatic movement. Look at the cinematic stuff. Yeah, this is fun. Whatever. So that should be the end of Act 1. If I'm remembering correctly. Or at least we should be at the boss of Act 1. Here we go. This is a robot. I'm not sure if it has an actual name, I couldn't find one. It probably does, but I'm too lazy to look for it. Uh, it's kind of similar to Metropolis Zone Boss. We also just fought Metropolis Zone Boss and Sky Sanctuary against Mecha Sonic. Pretty much he has these egg dome things that are spinning around it. You just want to jump into that big eye. When the egg things will break off and shoot into spikes. The spikes themselves are kind of pretty easy to dodge. I find myself getting hit by those rotating spheres more often, but whatever. Don't try to get hit by either. Anyways, once you break all those balls, I guess, the actual robot will come out. You want to jump into the robot. It'll get mad. Spin around. Shoot a laser. Just get out of the way. And that's this boss. I think you can jump into again. After you get it angry, but 
I'm trying to play safe, so... Yeah. Dying isn't cool, so... We're gonna do it lame. Slow and steady. I'm pretty sure that laser hit kills you, so I'm not sure why I didn't get hit there, so... Not sure what happened with that. Tails, you could've hit him, you had one job. Come on. You can do it, Tails. Just jump into him. You're invincible. Okay, I guess I'll have to do it. There we go. Death Egg Robot down. Yeah. We did it. We're the coolest. Anyway, with that down, we'll be going downwards to Act 2. Now we're on the outside of the Death Egg, which probably isn't very safe, but... I don't think the inside's that safe either. There's a lot more traps, there's a lot more gravity. Now we're going to be running on the ceiling. Despite you being running on the ceiling and whatnot, uh, controls aren't reversed, so... If you push down to do a spin dash, you'll still do a spin dash, you won't jump or whatever. It can get kind of confusing, but it's not too hard. Just keep your cool and think about what you're doing. And that's the zones gimmick, or this act. There's a bunch of these transport pipes, kind of like... What was it? Scrap Brain Zone? I think I had a bunch of those. We have a lot of teleporters like those, so... That'll zip you around to places. Once again, you have these elevators. Jump on them, it'll change direction. Tails can make that annoying. You have the exact same thing, except upside down. Tails apparently can't land upside down, so... That didn't hurt me too much there. Yeah, just going forward. Gonna show that Robotnik who's boss. Or not. Probably will. That's what Sonic does, right? Yeah, that's what he does. So are you guys ready for the end of this? Because I kind of am. This is a good game, but... Yeah. Be nice to see the conclusion to the Sonic the Hedgehog trilogy. At least featuring Sonic the Hedgehog. There's not much that I could talk about right now. There's no new gimmicks. There's these enemies here. They're, all, they're kind of annoying. You just jump into them when they don't have their spike ball on them, I guess. That's 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 my vice there. More tubes. This zone's pretty tubular. Whoa, puns. And once again, more tubes. These light tubes are very enlightening. Oh ho 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 ho. You can use those gravity platforms to go to the right direction you want to use, so... Yeah. We should be getting to the boss soon, so that'll be something to talk about. If I'm correct on this, not this pipe, it should be the next one, which should be right next to it. If I'm remembering things correctly, probably not. There we go. That'll take us up there. Yes? No? Yes? Am I wrong? Probably. I'm taking this platform, but then I realize, oh, I have an electric shield. There we go. Here we go. Here's the checkpoint, and here's the boss. This is a robot that we can hit Eggman right there. He's right there. We can attack him, but instead we're going to destroy this robot first. Pretty much it has two shields. You can't actually hit it. I'm not sure if I show that off or not. But you can't hit it while they're aimed at you, and they'll always be aimed at you. 
he'll drop these little mine robots. You want to hit him like that when the robots aren't in the way of the shield. You can spin dash to them or you can change the gravity and they'll fall down. And yeah, it's a boss. Those robots can hurt you if you run into them. They'll shoot spikes eventually, so... When are they get destroyed? There we go. Got hit once. Now I gotta be careful because I don't have a shield to prevent me from going hypersonic. As much as hypersonic would be cool, I don't want to use it just yet. Anyways, that's the Death Egg complete. Now Eggman has one last surprise up his sleeve. Oh my gosh, it's an even bigger Death Egg robot. And some kick-ass music. So this is, I guess, Death Egg Robot Mark II. I'm not sure if it has a proper name or not, but that's what I'm calling it. He'll move to the left and right. He'll try to crush you with his fingers, just like that um, flame arm or whatever its name was in Lava Reef Zone does. Just like that, you want to jump up when it crushes down on you. Just want to jump to the fingers, and that's this boss fight. Not too hard, just have, a good, just have to have a good rhythm. I believe if you spin dash you can do a bunch of damage to it, but I'm not going to be risky because I want to keep my rings. Because if you get hit in this fight with rings, all your rings will scatter below, they won't bounce around, so you want to be careful with that. I'm also trying really hard not to go hypersonic because I want to listen to this kick-ass music because it's great. And you should all listen to it. Anyway, that's phase one down of Death Egg Robot Mark II. Now this part, Tails can be a bit of a pain. I don't believe he does too much bad here. Pretty much, you want to hit his nose, and then it'll open up this pit with the Master Emerald in it. You want to jump into that little container that the Master Emerald has. When it's opened, he'll shoot a laser at you, which hurts you, of course. You want to jump over it. I believe the first shot always goes below you, or above you, I mean, so you just want to crouch that for that first shot. Got lucky there, don't know why that didn't hit me. Anyways, when the mouth is closed, it'll shoot fire of its nose, and you just want to run away from it while it's crushing all the platforms, so you don't fall to your death. Now that we've completely destroyed Death Egg Robot Mark II, Eggman's trying to make a run for it, or Robotnik's trying to make a run for it. Gotta keep remembering that Robotnik right now. We're not that far in the timeline yet. He's trying to make a getaway with Master Emerald, so we have to stop him. And this part can be kind of... Uh, not really frustrating, but nerve-wracking, because, you know, ground's falling apart, and if you hit him, you'll lose momentum a bit. And there we go! If we didn't have the Chaos Emeralds, or Super Emeralds, we wouldn't be able to go into the Doomsday, but now we are in the Doomsday. Robotnik has jumped to another mech. We want to grab as many rings as we can in this part, because we won't be able to get any for a while. Just keep an eye out, missiles will come after you. Rocks don't do anything, but missiles will stop you in your tracks. They won't hurt you, but they'll just waste time. Just like that. I lost control and now I can't get more rings, and that's bad. Just like normal gameplay, hypersonic or supersonic, they'll lose rings over every second. Some very intense music is going on right now, but we just want to go forward, get rings, get to Robotnik and get to his machine, where he grabs the Master Emerald again, even though we were just kind of by it, but whatever. Very intense. We should be getting to him any second now. Here we go, Eggman's, or Robotnik's escape pod. He'll be shooting missiles at you just like he was a second ago. There's a face on the top of that escape pod rocket. You want to direct these missiles into it. That's the only way you can damage him. The more the better. If a missile hits you, you'll get flung back and that'll waste time. He'll also shoot pellets, which I believe, yep, they waste time. Although it's kind of weird how a pellet and a missile kind of different strengths, but you both will kind of stop you. Anyway, after enough hits, it'll break off and you'll have a second Death Egg robot. This one's much smaller than the first, though. And he'll be trying to make one last final absolute definitely getaway. What's the Master Emerald? You want to just zip forward. I'm a dumb here. I'm trying to collect more rings, but that accidentally wastes more time than it 
saves. Probably could have taken them right away. If you hold, like, the... Any button, I believe, you'll do a dash, so... That's what you usually want to do, but I'm just kind of wasting time, being dumb. There we go, we can see him right there. If I just posted the dash button, I wouldn't be wasting so much time trying to be safe and collecting rings, but... Whatever. Eventually you'll reach Eggman, you just kind of want to run into it at this point. He has no defenses. He's completely defenseless. Rocks can slow you down slightly. He'll shoot missiles at you, those will stop you just like other missiles. There we go. And we just want to keep running into Eggman at this point. Avoiding missiles, just like before. And that's that! Eventually, after I hit him like eight times. I see him running low on rings, hope I don't run out. That'd be very embarrassing if I did. Fifteen. Fourteen. Okay, back to twenty. Things are getting pretty intense. We can't let Eggman get away. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Five. Four. Three. Five. Okay. Go! And we did it. So that was Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. Two pretty great, great games and one amazing game, I guess, together. So as I said before, there will be a Knuckles playthrough after this is done because it is technically a different story as it takes place after Sonic and Eggman face off and whatever. And whatever. But yeah, so look forward to that. As for right now, we're just looking at credits. That was a pretty intense fight. The first time there was a supersonic fight. And yeah, we're just looking at programmers like Masnabu Yamoto. Cool guy. So this is a pretty fun playthrough. All in all. Sonic 3 Knuckles, good game, just said that. Would recommend it. You can find it pretty much everywhere. If only Sega would let, you know, maybe a certain indie developer remake it, just like they may have made the first two Sonic the Hedgehog games and Sonic CD. You know, that'd be a pretty cool thing to do. Hint, hint, Sega. But yeah. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, go play it. Right now. Do it. Or not. I can't tell you what to do. Well, I can, but I can't really make you listen to what I say to do. So yeah, I guess since I have nothing else to say, I will see you guys next time with Knuckles in Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. See you guys then. Goodbye.